The Board of Supervisors approved the layoffs of more than 50 employees at KMC today. 23 ABC's Tim Callahan is live tonight with some new ways administrators are preparing the hospital for a new future. Tim? Todd, good evening. 51 employees will get those layoff notices sometime in August. The two departments, the home health care and outpatient physical therapy departments, those will close sometime in August as well. But despite the bad news, there is a sense of optimism here at Kern Medical Center about the future of the hospital. We had a chance to speak with Chief Operating Officer, I should say Chief Financial Officer Sandy Martin today, about new measures the hospital has taken to improve revenue cycles and to change the culture of the hospital. She says in the wake of the financial crisis, there was an opportunity to improve employee morale, patient care, and minister Administrators say they've also used a new software program that improves billing. A lot of the issues with the financials came from Medi-Cal and issues with the billing in that department. And the process of patient care has also been approved, they say, at KMC. But beyond that, Martin says she feels there's a turnaround coming at KMC. There, there is optimism here. Uh, I think that the team, the management team that, that is in place uh, definitely knows the direction that they should go in. They're well equipped to execute strategies that we ask them to execute and the staff feel empowered to make a difference in their job every day. Uh, we're very focused on customer service and patient satisfaction to improve our perception in the community. The hospital still has a financial deficit of about $12 million. With layoffs, the department closures, and the improved billing process here at KMC, they expect to save about $5.7 million a year. It's worth mentioning, by the way, with the layoffs approved today, the SEIU, the workers' union that represents employees here at KMC, will have a chance to challenge that and get involved if they'd like in the future. We'll keep you updated for now. Back to you in the studio.